Lunchtime is over, and that means we have to get back to class. Today is grown-up day, and that means grown-ups tell us all about what they do for their jobs. On this list, it says there's a dentist, a princess, a police officer, and whoa, even a puppeteer. I love puppets. I'm so excited to get started with grown-up day. <laughs> You must be the puppeteer that I've been hearing so much about. Yep, that's me, a real life puppeteer. My name is Matt Cadabra. Hi, Matt Cadabra. So, I have so many questions about puppets. Like, where do you keep them? What are they made out of? And how do you get them to do all the things that you do? Hey, Ellie, I actually have one of my puppets right here. He's in this box. Why don't I take him out and you can ask him all these questions yourself. Meet Mr. Hans. Wow. Hi, Mr. Hans. Awesome. You're the first puppet I've ever met. Yeah. Hmm, can you see me? Are you a talking puppet? Can you move your hands and arms? Uh, uh, you. Oh, boy, I had to sneeze. That was a big one. Of course I could do all those things. I can move my eyes. My eyebrows. I can even move my arms, just like you. And at last, then at least, I'm an amazing singer. <coughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> That's so cool. I've always wanted to know, where do you live? Is it in that big box? A box? No, it's my house. It's got everything in there. Kitchen, swimming pool, even the garden. Wow. Speaking of the garden, I have to water my plants right now. <laughs> awesome! I've never seen a puppet do that before. <laughs> it has been super fun talking with you, Mr. Hans. Yeah. I drew you a picture. I also drew a picture for every grown up on grown up day. But this one is yours. Here you go. <laughs> that reminds me, I have to go see the dentist next. Bye, Matt. Bye, Mr. Hans. Bye, Ellie. Oh, wow. This is an amazing drawing. I just wish I could have all of Ellie's pictures in my house. <gasps> Wait, that gives me an idea. Now, Mr. Hans, you heard Ellie. She's only giving one picture to everybody on the grown-up list. You're only getting one picture. Don't worry, Matt. Just follow me. <laughs> the next grown up on our list is the dentist. And look, he left all his dentist tools here. I see a big brush and a big mouth. <laughs> oh, hi. You must be Mr. Dentist. There's two dentists, everyone. I'm Ellie Sparkles. What are your names? My name is Dr. Tooth, and this is uh, Dr. Tongue. <laughs> Dr. Tooth and Dr. Tongue? Those are perfect names for dentists. Oh, I was wondering if you could give me a checkup to see if I have any cavities. A checkup? Um, okay, that's easy. Lift up your arms. Move your lips. Now move your eyebrows. And now turn your head around like this. I don't think I can turn around my head like that, Dr. Tooth. Aren't you supposed to do something else, like open up my mouth to see if there's anything there, like a cavity, make sure everything is clean? Okay, let's see. Open your mouth and say, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's see. That tooth looks good. And that one does too. And that one looks good too. Yeah, that looks good. Yep, yeah, they're all good. They're all good. 
Okay, Ellie, your checklist is done. Great news. You don't have any cavities. Awesome! I knew I didn't have any cavities because I brush my teeth every morning and every night before I go to bed. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I drew you a beautiful picture of all the healthy things that I eat to make sure my teeth are nice and clean. <laughs> yes, another drawing. I mean, bye, Ellie. Make sure you floss your teeth. Uh, thanks, Dr. Tooth. Oh, I can't wait to see my next grown up. It's gonna be a princess. Can you believe it? <laughs> Mr. Hans, you now have two of Ellie's nice drawings. I think that's enough for your puppet house. We're not done yet. I need one more of Ellie's awesome drawings. Ellie said we're gonna be visiting a princess next and I need you to wear the princess dress I made you. You mean this dress? I don't think it's gonna fit me. <laughs> huh? Wait a minute. You want me to wear that dress? No way, that must have been a mix up. Not in a million years. No way I'm gonna wear that dress, I tell you. No way. Can you believe a real princess is coming to my school? I've always wanted to be a princess. Live in a castle, wear a pretty dress and a tiara. Wow, <laughs> I can't wait to meet her. That sound must mean that she's coming. <laughs> Hi there, princess. My name is Ellie Sparkles. It's so nice to meet you. What's your name? Hello, Ellie. My name is Princess Puppy. Yeah, Princess Puppy. And this is Prince Puppy. <laughs> wow, a prince and her princess. Hmm, I've never heard of a prince and princess puppy before, and I thought I knew all the princesses and princes. You're so silly, Ellie. Of course I'm a princess. And I have so many princess superpowers, like firefighting powers. If there's a fire, I can put it out like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many princesses do you know that can do that? You know, Ellie, you have some great drawings in your, from your art class. Can I have another one? Sure you can, Princess Puppy. Here you go. Oh, wait, before I give you the drawing, <laughs> I want to do something I've always wanted to do. Brush a princess's hair. Can I brush yours? Uh, oh yeah, sure. Brush all you want. Wow, your hair is super long and beautiful. Uh, whoops! Uh, wait a minute, you're not a princess at all. You're Mr. Hans the Puppet. You were pretending to be the dentist too, weren't you? I'm sorry, Ellie, I didn't mean to trick you. I just love your drawings so much that I wanted to put them all in my puppet house. I shouldn't have tricked you. Oh, it's all right. I mean, I love that you love my drawings. Art is one of my favorite classes, so I'm always making new ones. Here, you can have this one. You don't have to trick me. Next time, you can just ask me for a new drawing. Woohoo! Did you hear that, Matt? Look at all these drawings. It's time to do the Mr. Hans dance. Hi, Jimmy. Jimmy. Guess what today is, Jimmy? Jimmy. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> and I have a gift. <laughs> I got everyone friendship gifts. And here's yours. I made it just for you. Wow! What do I do? What do I do? Ellie got me an awesome Valentine's gift, but I didn't give her anything. Hmm, Ellie's the coolest girl in class, but she is a girl, and I don't give girls a gift. Gross! But I can take all of her gifts. Yeah, I just have to figure out a way to do it. Okay, students. Welcome to class. Time to take attendance. Ellie, are you here? 
Here, Miss Blue. Jimmy. Jimmy. Next is Curtis. 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 Uh, Miss Blue, I think I saw Curtis out in the hall. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go get him now. Oh man, what am I gonna do? Curtis is out sick today, but Ellie has a Valentine's gift for him. Oh, I just have to get that gift. Is there anything in here? No, no, no. Hmm, this looks familiar. Jimmy! Woohoo! It worked! Ellie will never know it's me. Jimmy! I mean, Cowboy Curtis. Yee-haw! I'm here, I'm here. Was somebody calling my name? Uh, Curtis? Hi, what are you wearing? What do you mean, what am I wearing? I'm wearing what I always wear, a cowboy outfit. I'm Cowboy Curtis, the number one cowboy in school. Uh, okay, Cowboy Curtis. I think there's a seat for you over there somewhere. Oh, no, 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 no. I met Jimmy outside. He's the coolest kid in school, by the way. Jimmy said I could take his seat. And he said you have something special for me. Right over there. Oh, of course, yes! I'm giving everybody friendship gifts for Valentine's Day. And this one is yours. Wow. Jimmy, uh, I mean, Curtis. Wow, this is the greatest Valentine's Day gift ever. Thank you, Ellie. I'm so glad you like it, Cowboy Curtis. Okay, students, it's time for our first activity. We'll be splitting up into teams of two and doing a group project. Ellie, you'll be teaming up with Jamie today. Awesome! Jamie's one of my best friends ever. Jamie! Wait, where did she go? I thought I saw her around here somewhere. Oh, wait, I know where Jamie is. I saw her right outside. I'll go get her now. Yee-haw! Wow, we was that close. But I have two gifts from Ellie now. But I need more gifts, more gifts, more gifts, more gifts. Hmm, Jamie, her best friend, is next. I need a really good costume for this. Let's see what's in here. No, no, no. Hmm, Jimmy. It worked, it worked. I'm Jamie. <laughs> Now, time for more Valentine's gifts. <laughs> there you are. I hope you don't mind. I already started on our project. Um, Jamie, is that you? Jimmy. I mean, Jamie. Jamie. Jamie, you look a little different. But, I mean, Jamie does have blonde hair. Jamie loves princesses, so she's always wearing her princess dress. And she also wears glasses. Okay, Jamie, let's finish our project. So Mrs. Blue wants us to make a picture list of all our favorite things. Let's go. Favorite things? That's easy. Oh, I can't wait to show Miss Blue what I draw. She's going to be so impressed. Definitely an A plus plus. All done. <laughs> I'll go first. So my favorite things are rainbows, pizza, flowers, and the color pink. <laughs> what about you, Jamie? <clears throat> my favorite things are gifts, presents, gifts, and even more presents. <laughs> I don't think that's what Miss Blue had in mind, but wait, Jamie, what are you pointing at? My bag? Oh, what are you? Oh! All right! I got you a Valentine's Day gift. I almost forgot to give it to you. <laughs> Here you go, Jamie. I hope you like it a lot. Jamie! <laughs> and since you're my bestest, bestest friend, I got you another gift. Another gift? Another present just for you, Jamie. Jamie, what's wrong? Oh, oh, nothing, Ellie. Thank you. 
Thanks so much for the gifts. Uh, I gotta go. Class is over, students. Time for lunch. Time for lunch. Let's go. It's lunch time, so that means it's Miss Blue time. Awesome, it worked. I look exactly like Miss Blue. Time for lunch. I am so happy I got to give all my friends their friendship gifts this Valentine's Day. I gave one to Curtis, I gave one to Jamie, and I even gave one to Jimmy. Whoa. Speaking of Jimmy, where is he? Oh, hi, Miss Blue. Are you gonna eat lunch with me today? Miss mm -hmm. Blue. It looks like you didn't bring anything, though. That's okay. I have a really huge lunch, just in case I need to share. Hmm, let's see what I have today. Oh, I have a plum, I have an apple, I have a banana, and of course, my favorite peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but not just one, two of them. <laughs> I love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Uh, Miss Blue! Oh. oh my goodness! You're not Miss Blue at all! You're, you're... Jimmy. And that was you as Cowboy Curtis, wasn't it? Jimmy. And you even dressed up as Jamie. That's not very nice. Oh, Jimmy. No. Jimmy, why would you do that? <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. You're supposed to be extra friendly. Yeah. Well, I know you gave me an awesome gift this morning, but I didn't have a gift for you, and I got all embarrassed. Oh, what am I going to do? Wait, I know. Here's my basketball. This is my favorite thing in the whole wide world, and you can have it. Happy Valentine's Day, Ellie. Thanks so much, Jimmy. This is an awesome gift. I love basketball, but I especially love playing basketball with my friends. We could definitely play with this sometime. Yeah. <laughs>